Good day. Welcome to our third lesson. And today we're talking about electrochemistry. Our learning objectives are, at the end of this topic, you must be able to balance a redox reaction. Describe the operation principle of a galvanic cell. Determine the standard reduction potential of electrochemical cell. Determine the chemical reaction in electrolytic cell and explain the application of galvanic cell and electrolysis. Our topic outline, oxidation reduction reactions, galvanic cell, standard reduction potential, electrolysis, application of galvanic cell, and lastly, application of electrolysis. Electrochemistry constitutes one of the most important interfaces between chemistry and everyday life. Every time you start your car, tor turn on your calculator, look at your digital watch, or listen to a radio at the beach, you are depending on electrochemical reactions. Our society sometimes seems to run almost entirely on batteries. Certainly, the advent of small, defendable batteries, along with silicon chip technology, has made possible the tiny calculators, tape recorders, and clocks that we take for granted. Electrochemistry is important in other less obvious ways. For example, the corrosion of iron which has tremendous economic implications, is an electrochemical process. In addition, many important industrial materials such as aluminum, chlorine, and sodium hydroxide are prepared by electrolytic processes. In analytical chemistry, electrochemical techniques employ electrodes that are specific for given molecules or ions, such as hydrogen, chlorine, chlorine, and many others. Their increasingly important methods are used to analyze for trace pollutants in natural waters or for the tiny quantities of chemicals in human blood that may signal the development of a specific disease. Electrochemistry is best defined as the study of the interchange of chemical and electrical energy. It is primarily concerned with two processes that involve oxidation reduction reactions, the generation of an electric current from a spontaneous chemical reaction, and the opposite process, the use of current to produce chemical change. Now, try this one. Aside from the examples given earlier, give one example in our daily activities or a device or process or phenomena that there is an application of electrochemistry or the interchange of chemical and electrical energy. So comment your answer down below.